In this session, take a look at working with Auto Mockup, the plugin from AdvancedTshirts.com for CorelDRAW, for automatically creating product mockups or comps. In this session, we're just going to go over the basics because the system's really easy to work with. I'll go ahead and zoom out here. And I've got a t-shirt set up here as an example of a blank t-shirt photograph that I would use to set up a mockup or a comp, and then I've got a logo here. To set up my mockups or my comps, usually what I'll do is I'll go ahead and start with smaller images and I'll just do some review of the image. And I'll grab a couple of these and we'll go ahead and we'll open up our auto mockup here. And what we're looking for is really what setting here is going to give us the best shade and give us the best contrast in our mockup or our comp. Now here I can see some pretty good light blue highlighting in here. And I can see there's a lot of contrast in here. So I know that I'm going to be better off somewhere down here, probably in the 40, 30, or 20 range. So I'll go ahead and just select my image here and I'll just run a 20 on this. And once that's finished processing, I'll go ahead and minimize this for now. We'll take a look at the object manager and we'll see what happened here. We have our bitmap here, which is our shading, and then we have a base, and then we have our color, and then we have our original. Now our original is actually over here underneath the color from that original because I got three copies of the bitmap. If I take this apart, my first object is my shading. My second object is my base, which is kind of like the gray, or that brings the color in so it works correctly with the color. And then I have the color, and then behind that I have my original. So I've always got a backup of the original. I'll hit Control Z, and we'll go back here and put all that back together. So I can see I got some pretty good shading there, and we can zoom in and take a look, and that's some nice contrast in the shading. And that's really what we're looking for. Now if I go ahead and open Auto Mockup back up and I run on this image, we'll say we'll run a 30 here. And I'll select OK there and then I'll just bring this shading layer and take a look at that. And I can see I've got a lot less shading there. So I really would probably be better off with something like the 20. And you can compare these shadings to see what type of shading and highlighting you're going to get when you add your graphic. You can see you're going to get much more realistic here. You've kind of lost some shading here in the 30. So 20 would really be the way to go, and I'm not going to need to run the 40. So I'll go ahead and minimize this again. I can go ahead and delete all of these here. I won't need these anymore. So I'll just select those and delete those. Go back to my regular comp here. I'm back to my bitmap here. And I'll go back to my auto mockup, and I'm just going to run this as a color at 20%. And we'll let that run, and I'll select OK. And then I'm going to go ahead and get my logo here, and I'll just bring this duplicated on top, and then I'll resize that, and then I can go ahead and set this up and put it right here, and then I can just drag this from the object manager beneath my shading, or if I hit Control Z and go back, I can right click on this and select Order and go behind, but you can't see that here on the screen, but there is a behind setting. I'll have an arrow here and I can click on the shading that'll move that back. Now from here I can make adjustments on either color, base, or the shading. Now if I zoom in and look closer here, I can see how my shading is working there. If I want to bring some more shading in here with the shading select, I can simply go to Effects, Adjust, and Tone Curve. Now looking at the Tone Curve, if I go from the center up to the upper right, I'll lighten that. But if I come down, I'll darken that, and I can add some more depth to that. And I'll select OK. I can select my base if I want to make some enhancement to the contrast. Same thing with the tone curve, effects, adjust, that's selected from the object manager. I want to go to tone curve and I've got the same thing here. I can lighten to give some more brightness to the image or I can reduce as you can see there to make it darker. Go ahead and make that a little bit brighter and select OK. And you can see how nicely the shading just folds right into the graphic giving that real photorealistic look to the design. Now I can also adjust the color. If I want to adjust my flesh tones, I can do that through the color. So I can go Effects, Adjust, and Tone Curve here. And if I want to make some adjustments here, let's say I want to go a little bit lighter, I could do that, or I could go a little bit darker. Now that starts to get a little bit too red there, but you can make those adjustments. I'll go ahead and select OK. But the key is understanding that when you run Auto Mockup, you're going to get a shading, a base and a color. You put your graphic between the base and the color and then you can make adjustments to these three objects in CorelDRAW with your effects and adjustment tools very easily 
to enhance your images and make your product mockups or comps look even better than the images that you get from your vendors or you find on the internet. We'll go ahead and wrap here and we'll continue in our next session.